guys, it's Audrey C. The Sothi with the Science of Black Hair, and I'm coming to you guys today with a follow up video to our previous video on moisture. Now, there are a lot of you out there who are trying to find ways to really maintain the hydration in your hair, but you're running into problems. Now, sometimes those problems are as simple as using too much heat or not protective styling your hair. And other times, it's your water that might be the issue. In last week's episode, we discussed how moisture is basically water. We also talked about how the best way to moisturize is to combine moisture with humectants and then seal that with an oil or butter product. So in this episode, we'll go through some ways that your water can actually be contributing to some of the dryness that you're experiencing. Hardness, pH, and temperature are the top three water problems that contribute to dryness. Let's start off with hardness. Hard water is simply water with a very high mineral content, especially calcium or magnesium. There may be other trace minerals like iron, aluminum, and manganese in the water that also make it hard. Our water becomes hard when it passes through rocks and mountains and valleys and soil that contains these minerals that make our water hard. There are two types of water hardness. Temporary hardness occurs when calcium or magnesium combine with carbonate or hydroxide to create compounds. This water can be softened by boiling it. Permanent hardness occurs when calcium or magnesium combine to make sulfate or chloride compounds. You'll need a water softening system to fix this water. Another solution to try is chelation. Chelation is simply the process of binding to a metal. In this case, we'll be using our shampoo. Specially formulated chelating shampoos bind to the metals on our hair strand and remove them. On the right is an example of a typical chelating agent. Chelators have an interesting chemical structure. They bind to the metals and tie them up as you see in this image on the right. These minerals can really build up over time and lead to damage, dryness, and breakage. Hard water is probably one of the most least diagnosed causes of hair dryness that we experience and probably one of the most responsible if we think about it. These are some clues that your water may be hard. Hair that has been washed in hard water feels really hard and tangles very easily. It's excessively dry and it's very, very susceptible to breakage. If you suspect you have a hard water problem, it's a good idea to invest in a chelating shampoo to help remove and lift some of those minerals. For long-term maintenance, you may want to invest in a water softening system for your home. Up next, we'll discuss pH and how that relates to hair dryness. 